Thanks, Ron. The Mid-America Institute of Aging and Wellness Conference comes to USI next week. Integrative and functional medicine physician and my friend, Dr. Kate Corpus, is one of the presenters. It's been a while since we've seen each other. Good Hi, to see you. good to see you. Welcome back. You. Uh, Gina Downs was on this week talking about this, this event, and it's been going on for quite a while. Mm. But is this the first time you've been a presenter, Kay? First time I've been a keynote. I have presented... I looked back on my phone, it was 2016, I think, the last time I was there. So it's it's a pretty neat conference, so. Well, it sounds like it. And mm -hmm. so people, there's a, if you go to the website, you can click on to register there for yes. each day or whatever part you want. So I was intrigued by, as, as, as a person no longer in the youth category, <laughs> the topic that you're talking about, which is the gifts of aging. What do you mean by that? So, you know, when they asked me to speak, I was, I was, sort of looking at what was being presented. And I think sometimes with aging or older adults, it's all about the pathologies and the things we you know, need to do to fix things. And my perspective is always about there's gifts in everything and there's value in everyone. And so, you know, talking about you know, our elders and what it's like to be an elder or a crone in many different cultures, you know, older people are revered, and let's talk about that, because I think it's sort of flip-flopped in our society today that we're not um, honoring people for their age and their wisdom and so much contribution that could happen. Well, I think it's a, a conversation that needs to be had for mm -hmm. all of us, because you see this every day in your practice that, you know, the energies of people who are continuing to stay active and, exactly. and stay fit and stay focused on their health, it gives you a longer life. Exactly, and I just read the stats this morning that in 2010, um, people over 65 in the world, it was like 500 million. By 2050, it'll be 1.5 billion. So we're not getting away from, you know, aging and, and having an older population. You know, there are things that come with it, which is natural aging processes, but um, that's something that, you know, society has to adjust to, and, and why not welcome that? Well, it's coming. I mean, mm -hmm. you're not you're not going to reverse it. So, what are some of the things? That, what maybe some mental shifts that we all need to make as far as marketing to people my age and and whatever ideas are kind of percolating out there that are not healthy. Right. So the biggest thing, the number one thing, you know, that I will be talking about is ageism, which is discrimination and prejudice against people of any age. You know, oh, they're too old or you're too old or I'm too old. We ageism our own self, right? Or they're too young, etc. So changing that mindset and noticing those um, conscious and unconscious ways that we do that to each other, to older, you know, uh, adults and to ourselves, right? And it's very enabling, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't allow us to grow and to flourish and to be respected. And this is also relative to our health and well-being, right? So when we have ageism in our society, it can cause detriment to the, the patient, the person, higher rates of anxiety, depression, and cardiovascular disease. All of that stuff comes into play. Mm -hmm. So what time does your presentation begin on so, Friday? So next Friday, 8.30 a.m. And all of the, the, like the hall you're in, is yes. all of that is on the document. Oh, yes. And you can click to get tickets. Don't miss your opportunity, my friends, to sit in the shining light of Dr. K. Corpus. <laughs> uh, you'll learn a lot, and I think it'll inform how we treat ourselves and others. That's right. Thank you. Good to Thank see you. Thank you. Good to see you. More Lifestyles right after this. Stick around.